Hi guys, I am Abhirami Ji, pursuing B.Sc. on Agriculture in AC and RA curriculum and today I am assigned with the topic of Maximum Likelihood Estimation. Before going into this, I assume that you all have a basic on Max and Probability. Okay, let's look into our topic. What is this Maximum Likelihood Estimation method is? Maximum Likelihood Estimation, it is a method which determines the values of a parameter of a model in such a way that the obtained parameter values maximizes the likelihood that the process described by the model produce the data that were actually observed. Then the question arises, what are those parameters and why should we estimate this? To answer this question, parameters are the blueprint of the models. The parameter values determines the location and shape of the curve on the plot of distribution and each combination of parameter values produces a unique distribution curve. For example, for a normal distribution, there are two parameters one is the mean and second one is the standard deviation okay it okay it is the definition of MLE so let's go deep into the methodology how it works okay before going into this there is a terminology alert that is probability is not likelihood in a grammatical manner uh, vocabulary manner this probability and likelihood both are the same talking about the chances but in the field of economics or in the statistics they are different totally different okay let's understand the difference between probability and likelihood before going deep into our topic okay to understand the difference between probability and likelihood let's take an example here is a chart let us suppose that this is raise percentage of organization A. So organization A gives a raise to its employee with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. If I ask you what is the probability of randomly chosen employee from organization A will have a raise percentage from 1 to 3 percentage. This is the answer is the area under the curve that is from 1 to 3 and the results can be find out by using the methods of integration by using this uh, in, by using integration we can find the result uh, but in our case that is not the matter we are looking at, into the concept of probability okay probability deals with what are the chances that the randomly chosen employee will have a raise percentage from 1 to 3 percentage. So it talks about the chances and we can mathematically describe it as P of X. X represents the randomly chosen employee will have a raise from 1 to 3 percentage given and here this bar represents given the standard deviation of 1 and a mean of 0. So the result is the area under the curve. I think now you understand what is probability is. Probability is the chances of occurring an event. Okay. Now let's look into likelihood. If I ask you what is the likelihood of randomly chosen employee with a raised percentage of 3 well belonging to an organization A. This is what likelihood is and it gives the answer that is the fixed point on the y-axis. And the likelihood can be mathematically described as the likelihood of mean is equal to 0 and a standard deviation of 1 given rise percentage is equal to 3 percentage. In this, we are finding that how likely the randomly chosen employee with a raise, a raise of 3 percentage will belonging to this organization. So probability talks about the chances and the likelihood um, talks about how likely the given data fits the model. And the probability is the area under the curve and the likelihood is the fixed point that is y axis value is the likelihood 
in summary probabilities are the areas under a fixed distribution and it is math uh, mathematically represented as probability of data given distribution so probability is the chances of occurrence of an event in a given standard distribution see here the distributions are fixed that is the mu value and the standard deviation is fixed and uh, the data which is in the left side is changing if you take likelihood these are the y axis values for fixed data points with dif uh, distributions that can be moved so likelihood is how likely the given data fits the distribution i hope that you all cleared with the difference of probability and likelihood okay let's move into the methodology of maximum likelihood estimation according to this method the logic is that we considered each possible value as a parameter and compute the likelihood of each parameter might have and that are the true values of the parameters for the given model that true value for which the likelihood is greater is chosen as a estimate that is the maximum likelihood estimate okay now look into the text clearly what is this explains is in this method there are values for example take 1 2 and 3 okay these are the values we consider all these values as a parameter okay and we find the probability of occurring that is the likelihood of occurring each value and we find a value and we find a final value that is the fixed point on the y axis it says so among this which one have a high likelihood that will that value will be considered as the maximum likelihood estimate so in this method we will consider all the values as a parameters and we will find how what is the likelihood of this parameter and we get a some value that is called the true value and among this value which is having a greater value can be chosen as an estimate that is maximum likelihood estimate okay to understand this let's take a example let's say we assume a bunch of mice okay the goal of maximum likelihood is to find the optimal way to fit a distribution to the data there are a lot of different types of distributions for different types of data like we have normal distribution exponential and gamma and many more in this case we think that the weight might be normal distributed that means we think it come from this type of distribution normally distributed means a number of things first we expect most of the measurements to be close to the mean that is to the average uh, like here the average mouse weight and most of the mouse weight closes the average the second one we accept that the measurements to be relatively symmetric around the mean what does it mean it is that uh, on both sides of the mean the distribution should be symmetrical even though the measurements are preferably symmetrical not preferably symmetrical around the mean they are not crazy skewed to one side either normal distribution comes in all kind of shape and size this may be skinny may be medium or may be large box once we settle on the shape we have to figure out where to center the thing is one location better than the other before going into technique too technical let's just pick any old normal distribution and see how well it fits the data okay this distribution says most of the value we measure should be near, near my average okay unfortunately most of the values we measure are far from the distributions average according to a normal distribution with a mean over here 
the probability or likelihood of observing all this weight is low what if you shift the normal distribution over so that its mean was same as the average weight according to a normal distribution with a mean here the probability or likelihood of observing these weights is relatively high if we keep shifting the normal distribution over here then the probability or the likelihood of observing this measurement would go down again okay now we can plot the likelihood of observing the data against the location of the center of distribution okay we start on the left side and we continue the likelihood of observing the data then we shift the distribution to the right and recalculate which is done at down the data once we tried all the locations all possible locations we want the location that maximize the likelihood of observing the weight we measured this location for the mean maximizes the likelihood of observing the weight we measured thus it is the maximum likelihood estimate for the mean in this case we are specifically talking about the mean not the mean of the data however for normal distribution those two things are the same okay now we have figured out the maximum likelihood estimate for the mean now we have to figure out the maximum likelihood estimate for the standard deviation uh, for this we can plot the likelihood of observing the data against the standard deviation now we obtain the likelihood of observing the data uh, as same as how we calculated the mean now we have found the standard deviation that maximizes the likelihood for observing the weight that we measured this is the normal distribution that has been fit to the data by using the maximum likelihood estimations for the mean and the standard deviation now when someone says that they have uh, the maximum likelihood estimates for the mean or the standard distribution or for something else they were actually mean that they found the value of the mean or the standard deviation or whatever that maximizes the likelihood that you observe the things that you observed so in this method what we obtain is the parameters which maximizes the likelihood of a given distribution function and this is the same thing that is uh, discussed in this definition that is maximum likelihood is a method for estimating the parameter of an assumed probability distribution given some observed data what we did in this method is we take all the values as a parameter and we find the likelihood of that parameters among that uh, true values of the parameters we find the maximum and the maximum one is called the maximum likelihood estimates using that we find a model okay i hope you all understood this thank you